good morning and welcome to Michael Wagaman Golf. I am back out at Woodley Lakes and I am going to do another How Low Can You Go Challenge. The first one did not go so well. I was all over the place and hit about every tree on the course. I think I shot an 83. So it was a little brisk this morning, about 43 degrees. So we will see how this one goes. Here we go. Thanks. What happens when you don't get a putt bit for it? You have no idea. Just totally quiet. Okay. Interesting morning sight. A guy walked up and watched me hit my shot with a fishing pole on his shoulder. I guess he was gonna go uh, fish in the lake. Oh yeah, yeah. Turning out pretty good. Little two footer for bogey. One over through two. Not too bad after hitting into the trees to start. I'll join you, Vince. Yeah. Up further right. Oh, nice count. I missed completely. I'm just enjoying the round. Go. A sign of things to come, just an ugly shove out to the right. About time. <laughs> they just started to move. Good distance, bad angle. I actually hit a really good pitch, to about 24 feet, and then ruined it with a three putt bogey. That's not gonna work. Not too much. I'm not sure if you get relief from standing water on the green, but there was literally water coming up out of the grass as I stood on it. A little overwatered, I'd say. I think I, call that, I think I call it standing water. Good speed though. Yeah. I didn't know what it was going to do. Yeah, come out of the water. Still not horrible. Four over through five. Not great. But not as pear shaped as the next hole gets. That's twice. Wow, that is a that's horrible. That's just throwing the club. 
<laughs> oh, I love golf. When you lose all faith in your pitching or chipping, Texas Wedge. from Woodley today, but it is a tap-in par. Four? Four! It's over his head. No, no one hit him. No, it's over his head. I thought I had enough loft to get over this tree and just oh. clip the top branch Got it a little bit. knock it up in the air and keep it short of the green. another edge and it just kept rolling to about six feet away. So a little longer comebacker than you want. feeling that if I hit more fairways, I wouldn't put myself in tree trouble so much. I'll have to work on that. Maybe. Short, short. Good shot. Hold 
onto it so hard. The problem is I want to drive this green so bad that I swing too hard and then end up scattered on either side of the fairway. Winter time is not the time to try it. pushed but they're not going to go in the hole if you keep flaring them out to the right. Right into the tree. Probably the most solid drive I hit all day. Unfortunately, this whole dog legs to the right, and it went right through into the left rough. Huh? Oh yeah, mine too. Nicer if it was for birdie, I will take a tap in par any day. Oh, oh come right. Bunker! How do you hit that bunker? It's so far away. Oh, great, thanks. Oh, hard. Not sure if it's just this year. I don't remember every bunker in town being like concrete. You just, you can't hit a good sand shot. There's nothing to hit off of.
It only took 16 holes to hit a good approach shot and still could not make the putt for birdie. Barely had room for a swing here, but managed to get it back into play, only to then hit another fat pitch. That's my day. As you can see, Dennis played with me today and he was supportive as always. Game guy. Thank you, Vince. Hi. Hi, Dennis. Alright, that is it from Woodley Lakes for How Low Can You Go. I may have to name it How High Can You Go. I was hoping that 83 was the high mark, but uh, 89 today just uh, could not feel anything. So. I thought about not posting this, but that's part of the channel, is ups and downs of golf and good and bad days. So we'll come back another day and try again. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell notification to see if I go higher next time. See you soon. Mm -hmm.